In this lecture, we are going to understand how object works with the used state hooks. All right, so let's get started. Within the components directory, we are going to create a new counter. And I'm going to call it counter3.js. Generate the functional component. Close down the explorer. So quickly, let's import the use state hooks. Let's declare the necessary state variables to be used. So here we are going to have const an array and right within this array, we are going to have employee comma set employee equal use state. And right in this example, the initial state is going to be an object. Right within this object, we are going to have name colon set it to empty string comma we're going to have country colon set it to an empty string as well all right so the initial state over here is quite different from the previous lectures so dealing with the object in use state hook will involve a new approach it's quite simple so i don't want to scare you out right over here let's wipe this off so within the div we are going to have an input tag and the type equal test. The value, we have to display the value dynamically employee dot name. Okay, so this input is going to be used for the name. And on change, so if the user begin to type into the input field, right here, we're going to get access to the event, set it to our function, and then we will invoke the set employee method. Of course, you should know by now that this will accept an argument that will be used to update the initial state. It's as simple as that. So right within the parentheses, we are going to take in an object. Then I'm going to do name like this. E dot target dot value. Beautiful. Let's close down the input tag. Okay, let's quickly format the code. Better. Highlights from line 7 to line 11. Duplicate it. So here is going to be employee.country. So the next in line is to display the employee's name and country on the browser. And um, we're going to have a div. Right within the div, let's have a p tag. And right within the p tag, I'm going to do... My name is employee dot name. Highlight and duplicate is going to be employee dot country. So here I'm just going to do I am from employee dot country. So whatever country you are typing in into the input field is going to appear here. All right. So save. Open up the app JS. Yes, we have to render it over here. And I'm going to do import counter3 from component slash counter3. Place a comment on counter2. And then we have to render counter3.js. Close it up with the soft closing tag. Save on the browser. Boom. Perfect. So let's type in something into the name field. So the name is Edubaba. Everything is working for the name. So when we begin to type in into the country field, we are going to experience a weird behavior. Country is going to be UK. Can you see? When you type in into the input field, the name over here will disappear. And when you begin to type in into the name field, the country over here is going to disappear. So watch it closely. Do you see now? So also, when you begin to type into the country input field, the name is going to wipe off. All right, so let me quickly bring it to your notice. Okay, let's do it right here. Let's have another div. And right within this div, we are going to have a p tag. And right within the p tag, I'm going to do json dot stringify. And then we have to reference the employee save 
on the browser and boom can you see now we have the name and we have the country so when we type in into the input field of name it is going to appear here in between this string and when we type into the country it is going to appear here in between this string as well check it out so the name is going to be edubaba when i type in into the country field can you see the name disappears and the country stays so this happens simply because the use that hook does not automatically merge an update object unlike the set state method that is found in the class component so the solution to this problem is to use the spread operator to manually merge and update the object let me show you quickly it's extremely simple so right here we have to spread the employee like this okay and here also we have to spread the employee so this will help to manually merge and update the object as simple as that when you save all right let's give it a try you do baba and you do baba appears here the country uk and the uk appears here everything is working perfectly fine as expected so in conclusion whenever you are dealing with object as a state variable you have to make use of the spread operator to manually merge and update the object this is all for now and see you in the next lecture stay focused and always take care